Hello, I'm Artifacts of Mars, and I'm at HealthyPlace.com, which is describing paranoid delusional schizophrenia. And the reason I'm doing this is to point out what's going on with the American left. I'm not a psychiatrist, so I'll give you the disclaimer right now. I'm not a psychiatrist. It's up to a psychiatrist to diagnose these people. But let's take a look at the symptoms. Because they're making all these wild claims and accusations. And they have not one shred of evidence that they've ever shown. See, if, if somebody can prove their case, and that proves they're not paranoid. Paranoid schizophrenia represents the most common of the many subtypes of debilitating mental illness known collectively as schizophrenia. People with all types of schizophrenia become lost in a psychosis of varying intensity, causing them to lose touch with reality. It sounds like the uh, li commie liberals. Untreated people with psychotic disorders lose the ability to function in daily life. Look at the kids on campus returning to safe spaces and uh, protected areas. They're unable to function as college students use, used to do. Typically, a paranoid schizo schizophrenic experiences audio, auditory hallucinations along with diluted thought processes and beliefs. Now they don't have, Democrats don't have auditory hallucinations, but they do have diluted thought patterns, processes, and beliefs. They often believe other, others plot and conspire against them or their family members. They're claiming that about Trump. He's plotting against them. People with paranoid schizophrenia tend to fear better than those suffering from one of the other subtypes. They experience, they experience fewer issues with concentration, memory, and emotional apathy, allowing them to function better in everyday life. So, we'll take a, scroll down and take a look at the symptoms, then compare it to what you see the left doing. Auditory disturbances, we don't have that. Unexplained anger, have you seen them, they're uh, going nuts at Trump rallies and Republican town halls and stuff. Emotional disconnectedness, they have no empathy for others, they have no problem blo blocking traffic, harassing people for their political ideals. Uh, severe anger, anxiety, and agitation. We have that. Have you ever seen that? There's a video of so when uh, Trump got inaugurated. There's a video of some. I'm just gonna say something. Sitting there howling. Argumentative behavior, we've got, certainly have that. Violent tendencies, delusions of grandeur, self-importance, and believing that he or she possesses special powers. Well, they believe that. I mean, they think they have every solution to every problem. <laughs> hey, if I had every solution to every problem, I would say so. Just kidding. Frequently, frequent suicidal thoughts and behavior. Okay, we don't have that one, so there's two of these that don't apply to county liberal Democrats, but the rest of them are pretty uh, close. Paranoid delusions, when suffering from paranoid schizophrenia, you feel others are conspiring against you. And they've said that all along about Trump. And the Republicans, too. Let's not leave them out. Of course, a lot of them are lingui, spine, limp-wristed rhinos, but 
That's another discussion. As these paranoid thoughts intensify, you may behave aggressively or commit violence in self-defense against those you believe plan to cause harm to you or a loved one. And they've been violent at uh, town halls, Trump meetings, you name it. You may also think you possess special powers, such as the ability to breathe underwater or fly like a bird. That's a little crude, but uh, they believe they have... They can save the world if they uh, were just in charge of everything. You may believe you're famous or a famous person wants to date you. Even though others present contrary evidence, you hold on to these beliefs anyway. Audio hallucinations are that are unpleasant and cruel. Imagine sitting in your living room. You hear voices in the room, but no one else can hear them. You might hear one person's voice or two or more people conversing. They might talk about you or amongst you, amongst each other. I once, I once thought I was hearing voices and it turned out it was a malfunctioning radio. I really was hearing voices, but they were coming from the radio. The radio part wasn't on, but the uh, stereo part was and because of Atmospheric conditions, radio stations were playing that anyway. Well, I found the cause very within a couple of minutes and turned it off. Anyway, uh, risk factors increase, chances of paranoid schizophrenia diagnosis include. Family history of psychotic disorders, exposure to viral infection in the womb, fetal malnutrition, stress in early childhood, sexual or physical abuse, older parental age, use of psychoactive drugs during adolescence. And this goes on and on. So, you, you can take this for what it's worth. I'm not a psychiatrist, so I can't make a diagnosis. But I would say a lot of the symptoms match what you're seeing out of the modern commie-lib Democrats and the media. The media just as much. They're paranoid about Trump. They're paranoid about Republicans. You know, where are you psychiatrists are on this? Why? You, if these people match the classic definition of paranoid schizophrenia, then why are some of these... Uh, people in media, especially congressmen, why aren't they removed and put into psychiatric treatment? This is what I'm asking. All right, there you go. There you have it. It's going to piss off the liberals, but that's nothing new. I'm Artifacts of Mars. Thanks for watching.